so there it is, the, the hatch opens and uh, well, you can hear the uh, applause coming from the ground control centre. So just uh, walk us through this next uh, stage. On the next stage, the astronauts will go into the Tiangun 2 and the first thing they will switch on the carbon dioxide detector, detector mm -hmm. because carbon dioxide is crucial and it's fatal sometimes. Uh, so it has to switch on the, car the carbon dioxide detector uh, to start the ventilation. Yes. And the next move is to move the ventilation pipe to the capsule. So these two moves are done. They can start moving stuff from the capsule to the uh, Tiangong Space Lab. Right. And how long is that uh, stage likely to take? Well, this stage will take... Uh, it depends on how many things they brought with them. Mm. Uh, quite a few things. and quite a few hours, I would say, yes. but the switch on of the, uh, the carbon dioxide detector is quite very, very simple right. and the, uh, the pipe has been connected uh, somehow already halfway. And during the stay of the astronauts in, uh, in the combination, the life support system will be mainly charged by Tiangong 2. And the, uh, and the Shenzhou spaceship will keep its status uh, uh, before the separation. And now the astronauts are going inside the Tiangong 2. So the picture you've been looking for, forward to is the floating of the astronauts into Tiangong yes, 2. Yes, that's right. It's happening very soon. Okay, now I'm sure many of our viewers have watched our preview uh, of this uh, mission and uh, seen those animated uh, uh, shots of the uh, astronauts going in. And now you're about to see, there they go, the real thing is happening, wow. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Like you can me. That's wonderful. We can get them away from our studio too. Wish they could see us. So that is uh, the first astronaut is there, and uh, oh. and the door is closing. <laughs> yeah, the door is closing. So he has to fix the door. So oh. uh, but this last. time, you know, that uh, Mr. Jing Haipeng is yes. the first one to enter in Tiangong One. Yes. And this time, it seems that he's much more experienced than before. And this time, his action is more stable than the first time. Ah. Oh. Right. It looks very stable to me. <laughs> uh, everything is going according to plan. That's uh, wonderful. But the important thing you have to notice is that once the two astronauts are in this capsule, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, this uh, vehicle is flying backward. The Tiangong 2 is readying itself by opening the door backward, oh. uh, ready for Shenzhou 11. Yeah. So it's currently still flying backward, and the next move is to have a 180 degree turn right. to, to make sure that the, uh, the Shenzhou fly ahead of Tiangong 2. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is another uh, a crucial part of the mission. Can you just uh, give us an idea of what's being said there? To, uh we heard some instructions coming. Uh, because there are also many uh, devices and instruments to uh, echo the status of Tiangong 2, so they need to adjust these kind of uh, instruments and uh, press some, maybe press some buttons to adjust the status uh -huh. of Tiangong 2 and also the whole uh, combination. Because before the flight, uh, both astronauts are well trained for management of the combination. It is very complex because you need to handle two spacecrafts yes. and uh, how to control the attitude, how to manage the, the electricity uh, supply is a, is a very com uh, complicated issue. And the voltage between the two vehicles are different because, uh, you know, our Tiangong 1 and the Tiangong 2 use the uh, electric supply system with a voltage of about 100 volts, right. while the Shenzhou spaceship with a power supply of 28 volts, so we need a conversion. So you can see from the right side of the picture, the astronauts are busy making connections uh -huh. between the Tiangong and Shenzhou on a number of uh, uh, connections that could be electronically, yes. could be air conditions, could be uh, uh, water supplies and others. So there are many connections that need to be made uh, before these two modules can fly as one. Uh -huh. So the other astronauts probably in the, in the in the Tiangong 2 is switching on a number of uh, onboard equipment. I'm sure yes. he's behind the camera. And this one is busy at the hatch uh, between the connections and making, uh, uh, making the necessary connections between the two.
Yes, well, this is um, a, a point where uh, we could say that housekeeping duties are taking place now before uh, the next stage of the mission begins. Uh, I'm curious to know, what would the temperature be uh, now? It, it obviously has to be the same, moving from one craft to the other. Um, would we be looking at something like uh, 22 degrees uh, Celsius? Uh, the, like that? The, there is a specification of the temperature. The mm. temperature is set to 21 degrees oh, uh, 21. centigrade mm. and uh, it can be deviated to uh, between 20 to 25 mm. and the humidity is 30 to 40 percent and can be adjusted. Right. And uh, the noise uh, condition is less than 120 dB. Oh, okay. So uh, these are the conditions on board uh, and uh, the equipments will make necessary adjustment uh, for these temperatures.